More than 2,000 years ago, the first emperor of China, Xin Shi Huangdi, ordered more than 7,000 life-sized clay warriors to be made and buried with him for protection in the afterlife. The warriors did their job well. The emperor lay undisturbed until 1974, when Chinese farmers happened upon the ancient tomb near the city of Xi'an. Soon, the terracotta warriors captured the imagination of people everywhere, including these visitors to the National Geographic exhibit. Well, it's、um, an army of soldiers which were put there by the、uh, emperor when he died. That was before Christ,、uh, so more than 2,000 years ago. I know that it was、um, an emperor. I think it was—I don't remember which emperor it was. But he was a very legalist, emperor, really powerful guy who made this army as like a bodyguard in the afterlife kind of thing. I think that's really cool. It is estimated that there may be over 7,000 warriors buried in several pits. But to preserve the historic site, China's archaeologists decided to unearth only about 1,000 of them. Fifteen of these are on display in Washington. National Geographic executive vice president Terry Garcia. This is the largest number of terracotta figures that the Chinese authorities have ever allowed to travel to the U.S. So that's why it's a particularly wonderful collection. Transporting the figures is no easy task. Workers must go to great pains to ensure that they suffer no damage. In addition to soldiers, the exhibition includes civil officials, musicians, strongmen, archers, charioteers, and stable boys. Also on display are more than 100 artifacts from the Xin Dynasty: bronze instruments, ancient money, drainage pipes carved of stone, pieces of artwork, and others. Well, this was 2,200 years ago, and the level of sophistication and detail of all of not only the figures, but we have some beautiful、uh, building bricks from that era. We have wonderful roof tiles, and there's such、uh, wonderful artistic、uh, talents involved in this. One of the most amazing displays is this battle dress made from individual pieces of stone. The armor weighs 18 kilograms, and the helmet another three. Kilograms. It is far heavier than normal armor because this wasn't made for real soldiers or the terracotta warriors, but rather for the spirits of soldiers who had already been killed on the battlefield. The exhibit has been a big hit with Washingtonians and visitors to the city, but anyone who wants to see it will have to hurry. The exhibit closes the end of March. After this, the terracotta warriors return to China. For producer Yi Fan, Ruth Reader, VOA News.